When crimes occur, a lot of attention is on the perpetrators and the punishments. But sometimes victims can be the ones who feel punished for the rest of their lives. Local advocacy groups, law enforcement, and criminal justice staff were some of the groups that came together for a two-day conference to learn how to better serve victims. KAG's HD News reporter Alexandra Bush was at the Every Victim, Every Time conference and shows us how this education benefits our community. More than 600 people coming together for one cause. I'm a counselor at the Juvenile Detention Center, um, and then I'm also working on uh, my sex offender treatment provider license. Counselors, police officers, nurses, and any professionals that work with victims are able to come together for the Every Victim, Every Crime Conference to learn how to prevent crimes and support victims. We have people in our community that want to help victims in every single area. And the cool thing about this conference is that everybody here is working towards the same goal, whether you're in prosecution or law enforcement or victim advocacy or counseling or you're in the high schools, you all care about about our community. We're now all able to kind of connect and, and bridge our resources together um, within our community and outside our community um, to get the best service possible for these um, victims and survivors. The two-day conference is filled with more than 40 different learning sessions and for only a hundred dollars it's a great value for many professionals. One of the things that we felt was important was to have a conference that had quality training, quality speakers for an affordable price. Um, that way all of the different agencies that work with crime victims can afford to send multiple people. To Giving more people the opportunity to make a difference. One of the reasons why our crime has been so low in Bryan College Station over the last few years is because of conferences like this. A wealth of knowledge um, and definitely even more importantly um, a lot of good resources and people to contact. People who want to make Bryan and College Station a better place. Alexandra Bush, KAGS HD News. New to this year's conference was a legacy luncheon during which a College Station High School senior received the third annual Brian Bachman Legacy Scholarship.